Hi, this is Pushpa from Computer Science and Engineering Department of NIT Agartala, Batch 2016-2020. I have got placed in Oracle Financial Services software, which is OFSS, located in Pune, and I am here to share my experience. So during September 12th, September uh, 12th or 11th, 2019, which is last year, uh, there was an on online round uh, which was uh, taken by almost 100 students in from the NIT Agartala. So there, there was uh, flowcharts, there was coding, there was reasoning, there was aptitudes, everything in one single uh, test. It was one and a half hour long and uh, only 40 of the students got selected for the next interview, which will be the technical interview. So the next day, we were called for inter interview in the campus. So we were waiting and I was the first one to be called in the technical training. And uh, I was asked to relax, to calm down, to drink water because yeah. this is where the panic modes kick in. So he asked me what are my basic concepts for from which subject, uh, what is the preference and uh, what were my semester subjects last semester so I said all that and then he asked me basic questions of object oriented programming uh, like uh, polymorphism and uh, early binding late binding then there is abstraction and encapsulation and uh, all other concepts of object oriented programming and then he asked about database management system which is the BMS he asked relational database management system and some puzzles including how to bring the number 10 with the digit 1. So there are three possible ways 1 plus 1 plus 1 10, 11 minus 1, 1 1 minus 1 which is 10 and uh, point 0.1 whole to the power minus 1 which is 10. So I said all, all of that and uh, he asked me some basic concepts and then he went on to bigger stuff like Java and uh, difference between OOPs and Java and uh, what is it that Java supports that OOPs doesn't just like that and after I answered all those questions he, uh, he took on my resume and he asked some uh, questions from the project he asked for my resume and then it was done it was around 45 minutes long and uh, I answered almost all of the questions and he said that to wait for the HR. After my first technical interview, I thought it would be HR, but then I was called for the second technical interview, which is supposed to be just uh, confirmation about my project, my resume, my uh, answers to the first technical question. It was around uh, 10 to 15 minutes, the second interview, and then I waited for like an hour for the HR interview. So in the HR interview, he said to come, calm down, sit. Uh, it was around at 6.30 to 7 p.m. I was I was there for like the whole day because uh, 40 of the students were there. So everybody had to do their interview. So after I entered the HR room, he took on my resume and asked me about my hobbies, my skills, uh, my project. So. After he came to my hobby, he said that gaming, what is gaming? I said, sir, computer games, like online computer yeah. games. And uh, he got quite impressed because he was a fellow gamer as well in his uh, early days. And uh, we talked about games for like um, 30 minutes or so. So after all of that, he asked me about my project. I did a web development project from Intenshala. And a couple, couple of few trainings here and there. Uh, after that, he asked me about uh, HTML and CSS. And uh, after a few couple of questions, uh, he said to wait for the results. And I was out in no time. It was around 45 minutes, the whole HR interview. So after I came out, I have, I have to wait for another one hour or so. So that all of the 20 students uh, have had their HR interview and after that I got the results and I was selected. So basically what what do you learn? It's just that you should have the concept, you should uh, have confidence in yourself that 
you can answer basically all the questions uh, you should have a good grasp of the concept of what reference of subjects you prepare and just do good thank you